Hi everyone, Karen here. Today we're not going to be making a card. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own, if I can get out of the glare here, your own foiled sentiments. And what we're going to use, we're going to use Word. Now if you have some other word processor, you can use that. We're going to use two nesting dies. We have some deco foil and the laminator. And you do have to have a laser printer, any printer with toner. Um, if you don't have one with toner, you can use your regular printer at home, take it to like Office Max or something, and ask them to make a photocopy on something that has toner, and you can do the same thing. So you don't need anything expensive to do this. It will work with the laminator. And uh, one thing I want to say when, before we start is, I know some people like shims or no shims, and when they use the laminator, try well, how your laminator is, because I know mine, I actually get better results without a shim. So let me shrink myself down to the corner and we will get started. I'm going to put myself over here in the corner. So this is what I was playing with before, and this is the happy birthday. All right, so how I did this was, first thing I did was decide what kind of nesting dies I have. Now the two nesting dies I'm using are two and an eighth and two and three eighths. Okay? So I want this to fit inside. So if this one is two and an eighth, I don't want my gold circle to be any more than two inches. So I am going to come up here and I'm going to go to insert. Here, let me see if I can make this a little bit bigger. There we go. All right. So we're going to come over here to insert. And I'm going to come over here to shape. And I'm going to pick a circle. Now, when you want to do a circle, you want to hit the shift key and then pull down and you will make a perfect circle. So we don't want it to be blue. So I'm going to come over here to format shape. And let's see, move this over a little bit so we can see it a little bit better. We want no fill. So we have fill, our fill choices are here. We want no fill. And I'm going to make this line, make sure it's black. And I am going to make it three points. To make it a little bit thicker. So now I have a nice thick black line. Now I want to make sure that it's about two inches across. Now to do that, we're going to go over to view. And I'm going to come over here and make sure my ruler is checked. So now I will have the numbers on the top here. All right, so now if I drag this over to the top, I can kind of get an idea of if it's two inches or not. So I want to make sure it's a little bit less than two inches. So I'm going to grab this and just bring it up a tad to where now when I'm looking at it, that still looks a little big to me. All right, so that's now definitely two inches. Now to make sure I didn't squish it and make an oval, I'm gonna come over here to this side and make sure it's the same measurement. So if we were up here and I am, let's see, at one and three quarters, I'm gonna swing it down here, make sure I'm in the same place. Make sure I have a circle. That's it. It's a little squatty. I'm going to try and make it the same size as the one I had. All right. So I like the way that one came out. All right. So, yeah, I ended up making that a little bit squatty. All right. So let's look up here again. So you want to use these two little dots here as your line. So we're going to line that up. And that's two and then come over here make sure we didn't make it squatty and it's two I should have just left it to begin with all right so now we have this so now we need to add add a text box so we're going to come over here to insert again we're going to come all the way across to text box going to click we're just going to pick the plain text box get rid of the junk they give you automatically and I'm going to type in happy I'm going to hit enter and birthday. I can 
type. All right, now that we have to do a couple things here, so I'm going to pull this down here. First thing you'll notice is it's got a black line around it, and we don't want that. So I'm going to come over here to Shape Options. Now, no fill is checked, so that's fine. Now we want no line. Now sometimes it gets a little weird, and so you have to click line and then no line to get it to actually disappear. So now I want to make my letters, my words, closer together. So I'm going to go to Layout. And see how it has this choice here for spacing? So it says before I have zero, which is good, and after I have eight. Well, that's way too much. So I am going to make that zero. So that brings my words a lot closer together. So now let's make these words bigger. So right now they're 11. So I'm probably going to start off with about 26 or 28. And we'll see what happens here. So now they're also not centered. So we're going to come up here to our alignment, and we want to align in the center. So now we're in the center. So now we get to do the fun part and pick our font. So now we come up here, and we will scroll down until we find something we want. Let's see, that's kind of nice. If we're going to do gold, maybe I want something scripty. So we'll pick that. And now, the one last thing we have to do is we want to be able to make sure this is going to not interfere with this circle. So I want to put this in front of the text. And I'm going to drag this up here. I am going to actually, nope, I want that behind the text. There we go. So now we're behind. So now we can center it where we want it in here. And that sizing looks pretty good. Yes, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty much like the one I started off with. All right, so now we have this. So now we must print on something that it has toner because toner is what melts and makes the foil stick to the paper. So I have a Brothers, I wrote down the number. I'm using a Brother HL L2300D is the printer I'm using, and it's not an expensive one. And so I'm going to now hit print and print. I'm going to choose the brother and I'm going to hit print. And I will tell you, um, you're going to get a better um, foiling if you make it on the heaviest setting you have. So if it, uh, mine is like 300, 600, and 1200, I went ahead and put it on 1200 and because you want as much ink on there as you possibly can. So this is printing. All right. All right, so now I have two of them on here. And hopefully this is not going to be too close to the other one. Nope, it'll be okay. I'll be able to do one. All right, so now I have them on the paper. So now I need to turn on my laminator. And now it's important that everything is dust free. So let me see if I can turn my camera a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Let me move this out of the way so you can see. All right, so I'm going to take my Swifter and I'm going to wipe off all of this. Okay, and I'm actually going to cut one of these out. Make this easy. We will just cut one out. Put that over there. All right, so now we have our one. And I'm going to wipe it off with the Swifter, make sure there's no dust or anything on it. I'm now going to take a piece of my foil, and I'm going to cut that to cover the happy birthday. So I only need about yay much. And if you're wondering what color this is, this is, oh, I've got to put my glasses on now. Be, be prepared for the glare. This is, I know it's not just gold, champagne. Champagne. All right, so once again, wipe this off. We're going to wipe off the back side of this. 
this will go on here. And then we'll take parchment paper. And we'll pick this up. This goes inside the parchment paper. This closes. Now you want to make sure that it is right up against the edge because you want to make sure your laminator has something to grab onto. It, the parchment paper should be enough, but I always like to make sure that that's on there because I have had uh, my laminator eat sheets when I have not um, done that. All right, so this says it's ready, but I want to give it another minute or so because I did turn it off in between. All right, so while that heats up, let me show you something. So what you can do is you can take these and spread them out. Grab a hold of it the correct way. Put it here in the middle. All right, let me move this one down a little bit. All right, so, and you can fill this whole page. You can take another circle. Let's say copy and paste. And we'll put another circle down here. Then we can add another text box. Plain one again, get rid of the junk. Move it down here. I'm going to go to the home. I'm going to pick, let's see, I'll pick that this time. We will make it 26. This time we'll say, um, what do we want to say? Happy. I guess we'll say birthday again. We use a lot of happy birthday. All right, I want this behind. All right, and I need to get rid of the text box. So we want to format the shape. We want no line. And we want you behind. Now we're behind. And we can center that. And you can just keep filling up your page. All right, so this should be hot enough now. And you could just take the whole sheet and do them all at once and then cut them out once you're done. So I'm going to run this through. And we'll see what it looks like the first time. Because when it comes through, you won't, when you look at it, you want to be able to see where it's distorted where everything is, and if it's not, run it through again. So we'll look at it when it comes through the first time. Here we go. It's a coming. And here we go. Now you also need to make sure this is cool before you pull it off. Now I'm looking at this. Now I can see the letters. Let's see if we can see it in the screen. So you can see the circle. You can see the letter. So that looks pretty good. Yeah, that looks pretty good. But I think I will run it through a second time just to make sure. But this is without a shim. It is, um, the paper weight is about 85 pounds. And then I just have the parchment paper, no shim. And the laminator I have is an Apache AL13. It's a coming. All right, here we are. So now we need to let this cool. Oh yeah, I can see all the letters now. It's nice and distorted. I can see the circle. I think that's going to be good. So the only other thing I'm going to use is some foam. And this foam is uh, 1 8th. Usually I use 1 16th when I'm just doing something that sticks up just a little bit. But I wanted this to be a little bit higher. So this one's going to be um, 1 8th. Okay, this feels cool. Let me just wave it around a little bit, make sure it is nice and cool. And let me peek. Oh, you ready? 
I think we're good. Let's see what we have. And voila! We have a foil that says, Happy Birthday. The size, the font, the way it's laid out, exactly the way you want. You do not have to buy what other people, you know, want to do. You can, you can make your own. If you want to say, uh, happy birthday, Aunt Martha, you can put on here, happy birthday, Aunt Martha, and foil it, and she will be very impressed. So now, I'm just going to die cut this, like you normally would. So I'm not going to move the camera this time. I think I'm going to have to get another camera. So I'm just going to put it on here like I normally would, and die cut this. Now I am going to put a little piece of tape on it, but I'm going to put the tape. Let me line this up here. Let me turn my laminator off. I'm going to put the tape to the outside and not touch the foil, just because it's fresh. So let me grab my folder, and I'm just going to run it through my Gemini MIDI. This is just a quickie little thing here. Oh, let me do both at the same time. So I'm also going to, I have some gold foil. So I have my bigger circle, which is... A bigger circle is two and three eighths. So we are going to lay this on here. Put them both in the folder. At the same time, run it through the machine. It's over here. Run it through the machine. So now we have our outside circle. We have our happy birthday. All cut out and nice. Let me get it out of the glare. Let me move all this out of the way. And all we have left to do is to put some foam on it. So I'm going to cut some foam. Let me move my camera down again. There we go. So you can see what I am doing. So I'm just going to take this, flip it upside down, put some foam on it. I'm going to put two small pieces on either side for support here. I will peel these off. That is, that's Molly. She wants to go out. She's going to have to wait. So now you're just going to line this up in the center like you normally would. This is very sticky foam tape. So let me get this in the center. All right. And that is all there is, folks. So now you have this very fancy happy birthday. Let me move this back up again. Very fancy happy birthday that everybody will be very impressed about that you can personalize and put anything you want on there. So all you need in review is you'll need a printer that uses toner, you will need um, a laminator, and then the foil. And I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you give it a try. And until next time, stay crafty.